Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Technically T bringing you another product unboxing today. And we're going to get into the Blue Yeti Blackout Edition USB microphone. So if you've been following my channel, you already know I do live streams on Tuesdays. Sometimes I join other YouTuber streams. And we also have a new collaboration YouTube stream that's coming up in the future. Stay tuned for that. But I want the best quality audio that I can get out of those streams. When I first started off, I was using the microphone from my Logitech webcam, and everybody knows that audio is not good at all. Next live stream or two, I used the Samsung Go mic, and that, that mic is actually a very good mic, but I wanted to upgrade even further and go ahead and get the Blue Yeti because I hear nothing but great things about the Blue Yeti. So that's what I went out and picked up today from Best Buy. Just wanted to upgrade. As you guys know, my motto is always to keep upgrading when it comes to your YouTube equipment, and I think this is a very good addition to my setup. So looking at the box, Blue Yeti Blackout Edition, as you can see, you can see the Blue Yeti here as well. Taking a look around the box, this is basically an Assassin's Creed Origin uh, edition. So it comes with Assassin's Creed game in it. I might drop, I might flash the link. I might drop the code down below. One of you guys, if you use your PCs, you can download it. The first one gets the code can use it. So I'll put it below or flash it actually on the screen. Now, taking a look, Around this box, as you see, the ultimate professional USB microphone. We have a mute button, we have a master volume button, we have a headphone output button, USB mini jack, and that hooks up directly to your computer or whatever you have it hooked up to. You have mic gain control. You also have a four polar pattern selector, which is stereo, cardioid, omni, and bi-directional. Now, I may have said cardioid a little bit funny, but I'm not an audiophile. I don't know all of these audio slangs, but that's basically the four settings that you can use with this mic. So enough talking about it, guys. Let's see if we can go ahead and get into this product. I'm actually very hyped to get this thing set up and to use it on my live stream, which I think I may do tonight. Not sure when this is post, but I do want to use it on my next live stream for sure so I can really get the full audio experience uh, for you guys. So it looks like it does take... A knife I don't know if I have anything unboxing related but let me pause the video and let me come back with an unboxing knife cool so we're back with the unboxing knife so let's go ahead and cut this open real quick oh, oh stuff is falling out already so as you see you do get your USB mini let's go ahead and get straight into it not really show it on a zip lock but you get your USB mini as you see to your regular USB and that'll actually connect to my computer you get your user guide here as well put that to the side you know we're not going to look at any of that let's go ahead and bring this right here take this out and here is the blue yeti microphone guys so let's see if i can get this out of the box uh throw that there oh we don't need any of that throw all that to the side <laughs> as you guys can hear and here it is this is the blue yeti Blackout edition, guys, and this thing, the video can do it no justice to the build quality that this mic is made from. I mean, that build quality is absolutely amazing. Um, it feels super solid. It actually looks very good because it will go against all the other black, you know, electronics that I have on my desk. Since my desk is white and everything else usually black and silver, so it should contrast this setup very, very good. So, as I said before, you basically get your mic head right here. You do get your gain tab so you can adjust your gain. You get your pattern tab here as you can flip to all four of the patterns there. Now, I think I'll be mostly using it in, uh, let me see what directions there is. Mostly the podcast or the cardioid position. That'll be the most one I'll be using it because I'm going to be talking directly into it when I do my live streams. Not sure if I'm going to use this for voiceovers on my videos yet, but maybe you never know. Flipping it on the bottom, as you see, you do get a stand in case you want to hook this up to a boom or something of that sort and you also get a headphone jack Now the headphone jack is good on microphones because you can actually plug in your headphone jack turn your microphone on and you can hear yourself and you can really fine-tune your audio when using this microphone so that's a good thing you can make sure you're not peaking you're not you know clipping your video or anything like that so it gives you a mic control to where if you want to live stream you can also listen to yourself at the same time to see how you're actually going to sound in real time and here on the back also is that USB, USB mini to USB, and that will actually go straight to your computer. 
And these tabs here on the side, basically what these do is how you see it loosens the mic. And I actually, you think you can take the mic completely off to use this on a boom, but I'm gonna leave it here. This will be on my mic, I mean, excuse me, on my desk, set up permanently, it's not gonna leave my desk. But like I said, the bass is very sturdy. Flipping it over on the back, you do get some, some felt or some cloth-like material. So when it's on your actual desk, it doesn't actually do too much scooting and moving it around. And on the front there, as you see, you do get that Blue Yeti logo there. Mic mute button is a press button, as like I said. But like I said, the quality on this thing is, is A1. I can definitely see why it was worth the price tag that you actually pay. Now, regular price, this is $139. I think I just picked it up for Best Buy today for $109 on sale. So I feel like that was a pretty good sale. That's why I went out and bought it. But enough talking about it. I'm gonna go ahead and give you some audio coming straight from the Blue Yeti microphone, and I'm actually gonna finish the video off in that audio. So, here it is. Now I am gonna give you guys different sound clips on how the Blue Yeti USB microphone sounds in all different talking modes. Now, right now, it is in the stereo mode, so you can hear me right now. I'm talking on your left side, and as I shift over, right now, you can hear me on my right side. So if you're listening to, to microphones or headphones in your ear, you can really tell and you can hear from me switching back and forth from your left side to your right side. So this is actually how it sounds in the stereo position. So right now you're listening to the omni directional pattern. Now, as I get a little closer and I talk 360 degrees around the microphone, you can tell I'm not dropping any sound quality. You can see it's actually picking up my voice around the entire mic. Now this setting will mostly be used for your conference calls, uh, field recordings and events of orchestra, things like that when you wanna pick up sound uh, you know, around your whole room and different things like that. So this is the Omni Directional Sound Test coming from the Blue Yeti USB microphone. Now I'm talking to you in the cardioid setting now, this is the setting that I'll be using mostly when I'm doing my streams because it's just me. The voice is focused on me. As I come around the device, you can hear I'm kind of losing a little bit of quality. But as I come back around to the actual front, as it is just there, you can hear when I'm talking directly into the microphone. Now, I'm about five, six inches away from the microphone. So this is the, basically the way it's sounding with the gain a little bit less than halfway. So this is the main you know, setting that I would use for my live streams or even if I want to do voiceovers on my YouTube video, this is probably a setting that I will use. And this setting is best for podcasts, voiceover, vocals, or if you're playing an instrument. So I am talking to you right now in the cardioid setting on the Blue Yeti USB microphone. So this setting is the last setting, which is the bi-directional. Now, as you hear, it's, I'm talking to it directly into the mic as I would a car door setting standing in front of the mic. But as I go around it, as I'm 360, I am to the left of the mic now. And as you see, it cuts out my voice a little bit. But as I come around the back side, it actually picks my mic, excuse me, picks my voice back up. Coming to that right side, it kind of loses my voice. And coming back in front of it, it does pick up my voice. So this basically is, you know, this is more used for interviews with somebody that's going to be directly in front of you talking into the back end of the mic where I will be talking into the front end of the mic, not really picking up sounds that's coming to the left or directly to the right end of the mic. Also, instruments and uh, vocal duets, as it says on the box that this setting is most, you know, mostly good for. So this is the bi-directional setting on the Blue Yeti USB microphone. But guys, Finishing off this video actually on the Blue Yeti microphone. If you have any questions about this mic, please drop it in the comments section below. I will post the link to Amazon and the actual website. Right now, you can get it on Amazon for $128.99, and that is the time of this video. Regular price is, if I'm not mistaken, $150. So if you're interested in this mic, if you have any questions about this mic, I will be using it going forward. Drop a question below. Let me know what you think about it. Give this video a huge thumbs up, guys. Comment, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.